watching the HTC U12 Plus disassembly. First thing you need to do, make sure you remove the SIM tray, which is located on the side. Once you have that popped out, next thing you want to do, heat up the back slightly, and you're going to want to pry the back cover off. You can use a pry tool like a guitar pick or any plastic tool not to damage the frame of the phone. We already took it off once, so it's going to be easy for us. But you're going to start from one corner, pry your way in. I'm just going to work your way all the way around the phone. You can go ahead and disconnect the fingerprint reader cable over here. Now that's disconnected. Pry the rest of the back off. Now you have 14 Phillips screws you're going to have to remove throughout the phone. Go ahead and remove those screws. Okay, once your screws are out, you're going to pry up the back cover that's housing the main board. Work your way around, pop off the tabs. Take the bottom cover over here off as well. This one just comes off, has no tabs. Now next you're gonna disconnect the battery cable. Just look it over here. Go ahead and pop it up. And you can lift this type of tape over here. Now once you got that cable disconnected, go ahead and disconnect the other three cables. There's one underneath the battery cable. There's one next to it and another one over here. Disconnect those three. And these two you can disconnect from the bottom as well. Next, there's a cover over here covering the connector for your haptic feedback buttons. Go ahead and lift up that cover. It's like a shield. And then go ahead and disconnect the cable for your haptic feedback buttons. Now, if you need to replace the flash over here, the connector's over here. You can disconnect this off the board. Pop it up. And your two cables over here for your front facing cameras are right here. Disconnect those. And now you have one cable over here left. You have this cover that's like a shield. Just lift that cover gently. I can disconnect the cable. I have two more cables over here you're going to have to disconnect.
Once you have those two small cables disconnected, you can go ahead and lift up the board. So here's your main board. So on the back of the board, you have your main camera connector, one over here and one over here. And you have your memory card and SIM tray and SIM reader right here. And now over here you have the connector for the vibrator, which is right here. You're gonna have to pop it off, just like pull it down away from this connector. Next you have another connector down here. We're going to pop this connector up. And disconnect this cable over here. Let's get that board out of the way. I'll go ahead and pop up your vibrator from the frame. It's just held on with some adhesive. Now at this point, you can lift this plastic piece that's holding your speaker right here. Open away. This vibrator right here. This side. Now at this point, all you're left with is your charger port right here, which you can just lift up, pull out. You got your battery right here. You got your earpiece over here. Your front-facing camera's right here, pretty much, and your screen that's attached to the front of the main frame, the mid frame over here. Now, if you needed to replace your screen, you'd have to. Gently heat up the battery just a little bit so you can pry it off. And then the cable for the screen would be here. You'd have to heat up the screen and pry it off the front of this mid frame. And then replace it with the one that you need. Run the cable through again. And just do everything back in reverse. So now we're going to go ahead and reassemble the phone. Charger put back in. Put your speaker back in. Go ahead and put your vibrator back in. Now go ahead and put this board back in place. Now go ahead and connect this cable down here. Back to the board. Once that's connected, go ahead and connect your vibrator cable again over here. Just slide it into its connector. Once that's in, connect this black cable again. Alright, next you're going to put the main board back in. Use your main board right here. Just make sure none of the cables get stuck underneath it.
Once that sits in place, go ahead and connect all the cables again one by one. Let's connect to that cable. Put the cover back over. Now go ahead and connect these black cables you have over here. Once those are connected, go ahead and connect your front facing camera cables. Once those are in, connect your screen cable down here. Once that's connected, connect your haptic feedback button cables over here. Your cable. Once that's in, put this cover back over. Covering it. I'll go ahead and put these cables back on. Put the next cable back on. Connect the bottom. Now once that's done, go ahead and connect your battery cable over here. And if you disconnect your flash cable, go ahead and reconnect it. Hope the connector back on the board. Now you're going to go ahead and put the covers back on. Let's put this bottom cover over. And now go ahead and put all your 14 screws back in. All right, now go ahead and connect the cable for the fingerprint scanner back to the main board. Once that's back in place, put the back cover back on. You can apply heat again and put pressure. Power on the phone and you're done.